Hey there, my name's Amy. I'm here with the customer team um, providing a little bit of a best practice, a tip when sending a mail merge on using our contacts and organizations feature. In this example, I'll be sending a mail merge to three of my boxes here, Jamie Lee, Poppy May, and Solomon, and I have their email addresses here. Uh, what I want you to notice is in this example, within the contact card, we have a field called first and last name. However, I don't currently have the first and last name set up for any of these three contacts. Uh, what I'm gonna show you is when I go to draft a mail merge, for these contacts. I'll go ahead and start the new mail merge. I will give this a subject line. And in this example, I'd like to address everyone by their first name when I'm sending off this mail merge. You can use our variables to do so. Within the variable list here, we have variables from our contact field and given name is what would pull in everyone's first name. However, in this example, when I insert the variable contacts given name, I'm given a red notice here, as well as a little bit of an exclamation mark on this side. I'll tab over to my recipient story and you can see I'm missing the giving na given name variable for all three of these contacts. Luckily, we do have their, their first and last names, so I'm able to update the system to tell the mail merge. For every email address, let's make sure we have their first name. In this example, I'll click the red exclamation mark next to this email address, and I'll address this person by their first name. I know it's Jamie because she's been in our interview process. For this one, um, I also know that this is actually Poppy May, because uh, again, she's in my box name. <clears throat> And the last one here would be Solomon. Uh, let's say in this example, I'm not actually quite sure what this person's first name is. There is the ability to fix all, kind of give a blanket fix to any variable in your mail merge. Uh, so in this example, if I don't know this person's first name, maybe I would address them as, you know, hello there. And you can see back in my mail merge. So when I hover over, you can see I'm addressing Jamie, Poppy May, and in this example, I've just got a blanket variable um, called there. Um, so this is a really great way to kind of understand how you can customize the mail merge, um, give it a little bit more of that personal touch. So even though you're sending this message in mass, uh, everyone you're sending a message to kind of has that direct uh, personal touch. Um, so if you have questions on how this works, feel free to contact us at the support team. Again, happy to help. Um, and let us know if you try this out and if you have any questions. Thanks.